were you on Bitcoin and our little friend here? I had a few messages about um, BNB coin, uh, people that sold theirs in the past, and um, uh, a few people that actually went short on that, what was it, BitMax or whatever. Uh, they were able to do that, and they sold the Binance coin. And if you remember way back in the past, before, you know, on this up move here, I was saying that we were going to go all the way back down to this green line and under, and probably even down to here, uh, mainly because of the fact that this was just manipulated, just like uh, Bitcoin. Uh, but this one was even more severe. I had one person that uh, they were selling and hedging against their Bitcoin with this, um, uh, what is it, Binance coin. So this is mainly for them. But any of those who sold theirs in the past and were waiting to buy back, I can show you the points that I'm looking at that are logical and make sense. All right. So anyway, we see the big move that we have here. Now, everywhere from this point on, mainly the 22 and up, was just uh, pure, you know, uh, this uh, whatever his name is from um, Binance. Uh, they did a really good job of pumping this as far as they possibly could. They almost got it up to 40. They got up to 39. Well, I know the few people that sold their coins and all the way from you know, the 20s all the way up to the 30s and whatnot. Um, and, uh, you know, where do you where do you go and uh, buy it back or um, you know where, what's likely to happen from here well this point right here which is conversely the 61.8 the 17 level is likely where it's going to find some support and then a bounce all the way back up to here 24 and up to the 26 or the previous 38 percent is likely to occur um, right now conversely this chart is kind of telling us the future of Bitcoin in a way. And uh, this has a, a lead on Bitcoin, which is cool, because this shows you um, the manipulation and, and the exaggeration that they do. And when that goes away, you get the reverse and, you know, the collapse and whatnot. And it's an extreme range. There's no doubt about that. Um, but value is not down until here to there. And, um, you know, if I was uh, holding this for a short, this is what I'd be looking for. And if we go back to Bitcoin, we can see this is getting close to 61.8. Let's go back to Bitcoin and take a look at this. So from Bitcoin's low to that exaggeration high up here, where are we conversely FIB-wise? Well, let's go over and take a look at that, shall we? Let's do a FIB retracement and go from the lows down here. And all the way up to there we are nowhere near we're not even at the 38 so Bitcoin is lagging um, but Binance is showing the future what's likely to occur and it kind of goes along with our projection so Binance coin is leading the way um, and after they lost the US market and all that because of the fact that they're not taking uh, US customers and their coin honestly probably could be an issue for regulators and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear about that in the future which is going to cause them even more uh, downside right here um, but they were one of the coins that I like and the only place you could short them I think was on that bitmax um, so that is one of the the only platforms which I don't really you know can't say I really trust because it's one of those third party that's very risky BitMEX is the only one, and even BitMEX is risky. But anyway, um, we see that we've not even retraced and held below the 38% on um, Bitcoin. So this has a ways to go down. It has nothing, no support until this line here, over here, and even down to here. Uh, its major support pivot is all the way down here. And there's plenty of downside on Bitcoin to go. Um, now, a lot of people are going to say, no, that's not going to happen, blah, blah, blah. And I, I don't really care because of the fact that uh, the chart's going to decide that, not what people say. There's a lot of, in my opinion, manipulation that went on with this. This move here, this exaggerated move, where we went all in here is air. And once this gives up, it's going to have nothing until down here. 
and that's 61.8. Now, if conversely, if we look at Binance coin, and there's a few other coins that denote this as well, and this was, and if Bitcoin was caught up to Binance coin, where do you think it would be? Well, here's at 61.8, and we're close to it, right? We're only a few dollars away. It's holding right around the $20 level right now. And that 17, that upper 17 level is at 61.8. Well, if um, Bitcoin was to have caught up with it, it would be over here, wouldn't it? So this kind of tells us. Now, the thing is, if Bitcoin goes over and does collapse and go down to this level down here, what do you think is going to happen to Binance coin? Well, more than likely, it's going to have an extreme move, and you could see numbers that go all the way back down to uh, the 13 and, and under range, because that's where the original exaggerations occurred. We saw in here, it never, never hit this level here. It um, had been pushed up in a complete manipulation by these guys, and it, it got pushed up and now is starting to come back to this level all the way down here. Um, you know, uh, to the other people that sold their coins above that, this area here and all the way up to there, fantastic. Uh, now comes the place of where you can actually start looking to buy back and the only thing I see on here is at 24 and up to 26 and uh, that would be what I would look for it to bounce back to at some point. Um, so it's becoming, it's getting close to that good value. It's extremely out of um, whack with Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin was to catch up with here, Bitcoin would be right over here. <laughs> See it all the way up over here. So what it's going to do to BNB is cause exaggeration in my opinion. And we could get down to this number very quickly in the next uh, coming days, but we'll see. I'm not going to predict uh, so far uh, what happens if uh, Bitcoin holds this area. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out because, you know, as it goes along this uh, in time uh, on the daily, it's going to be running out of steam. Like I said, it's just going through the boring period and we're going to look for that breakdown. Um, other than that, that's all there is to it. If Bitcoin catches up, it should be all the way down here to Binance coin. And if Binance coin goes over and gets rocked by the Bitcoin goings on, and it Bitcoin does drop and catches up to Binance, I, I don't even want to say where Binance is going to be. But anyway, uh, that's what the market's at. So we're just waiting on Bitcoin to do that drop. And it started to move a little bit here. And we'll keep on waiting and watching. Other than that, have a great week and I will talk to you later.